get us educated on the safety about our about gas use at home and its effects when it's when you apply wrong use to it so today uh we are focusing on the causes or what causes gas explosion what are the causes what are the things that will cause gas to explode so um there are two explosions one explosion that happens in an open space and explosions that happens in an enclosed place so the one that is what we call b l e b e then we now have u v c e and we also have a v c e so this one is uh, explosion that happened in an open area why this is an explosion that happened in an uh, enclosed space Okay, so in the house, if somebody has a cylinder that is stationed in the house, either under the cupboard or by the side of the cooker, for the fact that it's within inside the kitchen. So this one is the explosions that happened. C V C E. What it calls confirmed vapor cloud explosion. Confirmed vapor cloud explosion. What happens is this: when the vapor is in the air, it is confirmed that is presence of vapor in that enclosed place in the kitchen. The windows are closed, the doors are closed. It is confirmed that there is a presence of vapor in that enclosed place. So what happened is it forms a cloud. Like I said in the previous meeting, that when there is leakage, since gas is heavier than air, what happens is it goes down. As it's leaking, what it does, it goes down. At the time it saturates the enclosed place, it will start rising vertically from any point. From any point, it will rise vertically. So at that point, it has gotten to the point where it can have fire. The gas in the cloud at that time is more than the oxygen inside that enclosed place. So what is there is every possibility that explosion can happen. So any anything that can that can generate light at that point that will be an explosion. So flashpoint fire ignites the cloud immediately. In such situation, once this has been confirmed, to prevent this explosion, you open window for ventilation. So explosion happens, the E results when you identify this, when you know in that enclosed place that is vapor in the cloud and it has been confirmed. So to prevent this last one, you opened the windows. If you fail to open the window and you turn on any switch or you turn up the gas knob or you light up anything, there will be an explosion in that enclosed place. 
So, how, what causes this vapor to be in that enclosed place? Meanwhile, this vapor was not meant to come out. It was meant to remain in a pressurized cylinder. So something must have happened for this vapor to become present in an environment where it is not meant to be. So those are the causes that we need to prevent. And when it leaks, the other steps to take is to open windows for ventilations to happen. So let's look at why would this vapor come out from where it's being stored? Because it's meant to be in that environment, in that cylinder. When I mean environment, I meant in that cylinder. It's not meant to come out. One of the causes is one. Let me also add, it is not good to leave cylinder inside the kitchen for any reason. It's not advisable. But where somebody does that as a result of the environment, so procedures has to be observed. There are steps of procedure has to be observed to maintain safety in that place as a result of the presence of that pressurized cylinder. So now, one of the things that causes gas to leak is when the valve is leaking and is not attended to. is one of the causes of the vapor to be confirmed in an in an enclosed place when there is leak also the hose the hose there are standard specifications for hose but let us not go in details in that but let's just deal with causes of um leakage if the hose is weak, it can also cause leakage. Another thing that can cause leakage, if somebody has a rat in their house, the rat can fix on the hose and eat the hose, that will be leakage. Another one is, at the end of the terminals of the hose, the hose to the regulator and the hose to the burner, there is need to put a clip to tight it very well so that there won't be any leak that is coming out from the two terminals the terminal that is coming from the regulator and the one that is going to the cooker so that these two ends will be secured with that uh, clip so that there won't be any leakage okay so now once there is leakage from the hose and there is leakage from the valve there is a problem that comes with the, that with, with the regulator has fell its test it is better for the for it is better to replace that regulator very important also if you have a cylinder like i said that because of the environment you can't keep it outside after cooking it is very important to remove the regulator head because you might turn it on if you turn up the burner the cooker and you fail to turn up the knob on the regulator is a problem so you have to turn up the knob on the regulator to stop flow of vapor from the cylinder to the burner also you need to turn off also the cooker you have to turn it off so these are pre preventive measures so once there is leak and the person fails to open window for ventilations to happen there will be an explosion So what we are doing is to understand what causes it and how to prevent it. So we have identified what causes it. When the valve is leaking or the regulator is faulty 
or there is a hole on the hose or the two terminal ends of the um, regulator and the burner there is no seal there is no um, clip to tight it very well so these are possibilities where gas can leak. once you have secured that there won't be any leak but once there is any defect in any of these points there will be leak and once there is leak the next step to do once you identify it by smelling it you open the window to prevent explosion we have uh, clearly on, um, explained what causes um, vapor clouding and how to prevent it or when you identify it how to prevent it so that there won't be any explosion and also what um, had to have done all that